Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And we're into it guys, we are into the red dirt, we're into the corrugations, that was the story of today. We are at the Archer River Roadhouse up there somewhere. We're just down in the campgrounds behind the scenes, this is kind of what it looks like. A little bit dry, but then there's some big green patches like this. We had a buttload of rain today. And that really was the story. I thought today we'll do a little bit of a longer one. I know yesterday's was super short, but I had a stack of people looking at this weird dude with the blue glove on. So I can uh, spend a little bit more time today. I thought we'd do a bit of a walk around of the back of the rig and how everything's going. Show you the dust situation and that sort of stuff. Um, but today uh, the highlights were we went from Lion's Den. We didn't do Battle Camp Road with 40 mil of rain today up here. Absolute bedlam. We've got... Uh, uh, a car number two there which has got a trailer on the end we thought let's just do the old uh, the old straight route up the um, PRD or PDR sorry um, up to where we are today so and there's a bit more rain starting to spit so we thought we'd uh, we do it that way story today though we've got full red dirt you wait till you see the footage on the main video full red dirt full corrugations the D-Max handled it like a champ though nothing too sort of crazy corrugation wise to be fair but there was a few sections that were pretty, pretty gnarly. So um, everything L OK though, everything survived. I didn't lose anything, which is always a plus. <laughs> Nothing rattled off. I did actually, I tell a lie, I lost a front parking sensor. It's sort of disappeared. So I'm hoping that it's disappeared in the abyss behind there because now every time I'm at low speeds, it thinks I'm going to run into something. So I'm going to go searching for that a little bit later. But other than that, that's, that's the only casualty so far. I, of course, dug out the uni filter just as I got here bef after all the corrugation. So hopefully that'll help for tomorrow because tomorrow we tackle the OTT and I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. So let me give you a bit of a walk around on the campsite. Just busted out some solar panels just to charge up. I've got some swags and bits and pieces. Um, testing out this new battery bank. This is uh, an all powers unit and I've just got this for the Starlink which is sitting over there somewhere but we have full signal here which is cool and I'm, I'm gonna do a separate little video on Starlink to sort of show you what they're like because um, I think they're a real alternative to getting a sat phone that kind of thing because it's a similar price but keep an eye out for that video um, so that's charging away just off some sort of afternoon solar there this is the state of the D-Max where it's certainly a long way from shiny and clean at the moment I'll do a bit of a, a walk around. We might go around this side so far. Like I said, the um, the uh, little sensor there, a bit of a bit of a casualty. We've got a stack of water in that fog light there. I just had to restart the old phone. I don't know what's going on there. This is just the one take walk around type stuff, so no edits or anything crazy. Um, everything else though, okay. I'm interested. This I got this from Cone Tone Equipment just before I took off, and touch bloody wood so far. I think it's it's doing a pretty good job of keeping stuff away from the uh, the windscreen and, and the bonnet. But you know, time will tell. We'll see how we go uh, at the end of the trip because we've got a long way to go. Lots of uh, red dirt. I'm just drying out a bunch because last night at Lions Den absolutely caked down all night, so everything's wet. We're just sort of drying it out, and hopefully these rain clouds sort of stay away. Um, pulled everything out today just to kind of do a bit of a reassess. So you probably, oh, you will, you will see. I filmed all of the setup and everything in the interior here that you'll see in an upcoming video once I get back. And I also went through all of the equipment, everything that I've taken and talked through it all so that when I get back, I'm gonna be leaving everything as is, pulling it out, and then I'm doing a video on whether it was worth taking, whether it worked, whether it was garbage, or what the case was. So, bit of a sneak peek, but you'll see those videos coming up. Big fridge, uh, still going along fine. You've seen this in previous videos. We're still rocking the uh, the Evercool for the big trips. Separate little jerry can for some extra fuel and uh, water tank in the back there, bits and bobs. Store mod, the update on, on the store mod. Everything is working, great guns. Everything uh, as far as our lighting situation. With the solar on the roof, we're still at 100%, even with the fridge running, which is which is awesome. Everything's working really, really well. We've got the air built in so we can blow out blow out any sort of dust and that sort of stuff. Fan on the side and the new one that you may not have seen yet because you haven't seen that video is we've got built-in water so we can, we can sort of hose stuff off. But we've got sort of 40 litres of drinking water that gives us the little run-through on the, um, 
on the gauge here as well. So that's pretty cool. You'll see all that in the upcoming videos. Rocking a bit of a different awning here. This is the Falcon from 230, and it has the full wall kit here as well, which was absolutely awesome last night when it was caking down at Lion's Den because we sort of just closed all of this section is in um, from the rain because it was pelting down this way. Swag came in next to the D-Max there and, and kept everything sort of out of the weather. I could kick the fridge open and ventilated because that was a big thing because I've got the freezer running. Uses a fair bit of ju juice when it's all closed up in the, in the canopy, but once it's ventilated, it, um, it works pretty well. Speaking of the canopy, from a dust situation, I have cheated a little bit here, I realise uh, just now as I'm talking about it because I used the blower, which is this guy. Super valuable, that little thing, to give a, a bit of a blowout. You can kind of see the remnants. Get the old phone out of the way here. It kind of got up into the corners more than anything. I've got, this is part of a grunt kit. So all the way along and halfway or most of the side here, apart from the wire bit and then these bits. So it works pretty well um, from a from a end state here. You can kind of see where it's sort of stopped. In the canopy's defense though, or maybe in the, the other side, I'm not sure. It, it, in saying that the canopy was pretty chock-a-block and I kind of just turfed this in all at the back here as well so it probably couldn't have gone too much further to be fair so but I mean in inside it's not too bad we've got a little bit up here but other than that the canopy is holding up pretty well we've got a little bit of dust it's obviously being sucked through from the fan because I've had that blasting the whole time and it sucks in from the side so there's a little bit there which probably means there's a little bit inside the old storm mod there as well I'll have to clean all that up uh, when we get back. But other than that, you can see everything at the top here and everything, it's it's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that because today, 500 Ks worth of, or 400 and something Ks worth of just absolute bull dust. The super fine stuff you hear about, we had that in spades almost the entire day. So there you go, I'll stop jabbering. Um, hopefully that gives you a bit more of a view that we've, oh, and on the top, of course, we've got the Sabre X from 23.0. This is their the newer hard shell that has the, the X on the side so you get a bit more space uh, on the end. Um, so that's my little casa for the moment. You can see just over this side, it sort of comes up a bit so you've got a bit more room down the end as opposed to the normal ones. So given that a thorough flat, uh, thrashing and so far so good. It stood up to that rain. No worries at all last night and uh, it was nice, nice and dry. So there you go, I think that's about it. That's kind of the setup really, pretty sort of, um, pretty cool, also not too complicated and that was kind of my idea that I could just whip all this stuff out, throw a couple of chairs down and um, you know we're pretty well, pretty well good to go, pretty well good to relax. So um, that's about it for today, let me know in the comments tomorrow what do I need to look out for, have you gone to the OTT before, have you done that, that route? Because that starts for us first thing tomorrow morning. I can't hardly wait. But if you've got any tips, if you've got any tricks, if you've got any stuff you really want to see footage of, um, let me know in the comments down below. We are staying on the track for a good few nights. I think it's four in total at a couple of the falls and that kind of stuff. So I am absolutely looking forward to it. But if you want to see anything in particular, let me know in the comments. I have got signal here, so I'll be able to have a bit of a message back and forward um, once, once I upload this in a little bit. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a stellar week. I've been doing bucket loads of Ks, but we're getting into the good stuff from tomorrow, so I can't hardly wait. Other than that, guys, as always, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.